went to Atlanta, right? To the Live It, uh, Live it and Lead It seminar with Dr. Dan Pompa. We got there Friday. Hit Atlanta, Whole Foods Run. Uh, got to the hotel. Uh, then we started like 7 a.m. Started out the great day great. It was awesome. So um, from my Cairo Thought Leaders, I had a link, an affiliate link. So anybody who bought a link under me, because everybody wants to, we wanted to help Pompa, Dr. Pompa out, so he gave us an affiliate link. So anybody who bought under my link, how can I add more value or to do an ethical bribe, so to speak, to buy under my link, um, I offered the one hour Q&A mastermind session with people. I felt that was, that's something I could give that no one else could give. So I wanted to make sure I gave something of value that no one else could give. I love that. And then I believe around 11.30, because he got pushed back, Woody and I went on the stage when he was talking about how she runs the detox program in the office. Then we did the hero keynote with Q&A, which couldn't have gotten better. Yeah, and then we hit the little arm pump after that. And then we just literally absorbed praises and gratification from everybody in that room. It was confirmation for me, like we said, it confirmed everything. Even more confidence of the message that everybody is salivating to hear it. And the ones that don't, they realize that what they were feeling, this was the reason why. And it's and at least lets them know, I'm not ungrateful. You know, this was a real feeling I was having. You know, I'm just grieving my potential. And so the next part is we we have show people how to release that potential. I think we we definitely have the system to do it. All right, what's coming up now? So this is when we're doing this. What's coming up Thursday? We go to Nashville. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're gonna meet with Dr. Josh Axe. Gonna do some masterminding there. We're gonna go to his event, and uh, we'll do uh, some good networking. We'll get some good interviews, some a bunch of Facebook lives, more uh, collaboration. You know, I'll do some lives with people. They'll do it lives with me, and then tomorrow we have that entrepreneur on fire. That's what I'm excited about. Again, collaboration. So Isaac, who introduced me to John at Entrepreneur on Fire, he'll be there next week in Nashville too. So see, it's just it's the relationship capital. It's the unknowns. And so I'm really, I'm, I'm ready for that. That'll be tomorrow. You know, I did my studying. I, I went through and I did my homework on them. And so we'll have a great podcast. I'm always, great. I'm always great being interviewed on a podcast. It's always the best. Everybody enjoys it. It's guaranteed. So that's that's Monday, and then we'll go to Nashville on Thursday. And let's just worry about this week, <laughs> and, and nothing else. opportunity in this office is really in the differences in this office than we have over any other office. And so I, I'm writing out, so I just took the time because thinking it is one thing, but when you really get it down and you start typing out, you realize I'm on 27 differences that this office has compared to someone down the road. You know, for instance, I put, uh, we don't take insurance, right? We're a cash practice because I believe that when a doctor takes insurance, it makes them lazy and complacent because if I took insurance, I wouldn't have to educate you. I wouldn't have to bring my A game. I wouldn't have to personally development and study at home. My care plans are dictated in here based off what the person truly needs. But I think even a doctor who really means well, I think when they see their insurance pays for this or they cover that, that subconsciously the care plan is dictated according to what the insurance pays for or what they don't pay for versus of what that person really needs. And the power is in the uniqueness and the difference. It's not in the sameness. I'm not looking to be the same. I'm looking to be unique. And that's why we talk about heroes. We're all unique. And the uniqueness is what you want to be able to express. Society wants us to be the same, factory workers. And they, they discourage from being the unique. things, you know, when I was in strike force, was at a school, this was the first, after the first month we opened, the book I wrote with Dr. Ben, this was uh, the end scene of Rocky 3, you know, then, uh, you know, the sense, so it's my dad's cologne, Royal Copenhagen, here's a crazy story, you want to hear a crazy story? So my mom was walking, grieving, so this is months after my dad died, 
my mom, and I know my mom's not crazy and she's done things that were supernatural. So this, you know, it's 100% true. She was walking, she used to do her walk in the morning, months after my dad died, and she was just praying, praying like, you know, God, give me a sign, something like that. And like, she was kind of tearing up and she went to like wipe her nose or scratch herself and she smelled this. Isn't that crazy? And it was like, that was just kind of like she said, it was like her reassurance. I never question my mom when it comes to stuff like that. She just has crazy mom intuition, totally different level. So everything is created, give me all the wins, man. You know, like I put you, you got a win up, put it up. So you run, you run it. This is, it's conducive. It's a vision room. Everything inspires you. No bowls of fruit, man. No bowls of fruit.